Hey what is up going guys, this is Lucas and we're back for another switch review and it's going to be another linear switch to deal with. Here's the Mirandi switches from Wuchi Studio. Please take note of our disclaimer, as the people from Wuchi Studio did send out the switches for a review, but that won't affect my thoughts and opinions regarding this. That being said, let's get into the switches. The Morandi is generally quite smooth out of the box as these are factory lube, and for the sound profile, it almost resides on the deeper side with such clacks, but alternatively, it can also be described as a quiet switch that is not considered a silent switch. To begin with, here are the specs of this switch. These switches are manufactured by Haimu, featuring a full palm housing with a UPE stem measured at 13.1mm. It has a spring of 18mm double stage that gives a bottom out force of 60 grams and it has a total travel of 3.5mm. From here on out, this is the second time taking a look on a full palm housing switch. What I'm getting here is first, deep clacks will vary between the configuration of the keyboard of each user. And second, being quiet, it will become more of a general opinion as different users have stated with their reviews as buying these switches. It is the long pull stem and its overall shorter travel distance that still allow it to produce a big sound, contrary if you are going to compare it with a shorter stem. I believe it's the tapered center pole that puts it in the position where the switch can operate with these two distinct sound profiles. As for the sound test, we are going to change our format a bit for better consistency and a much in-depth comparison. We'll still use the AK68 and the KBD67 Lite as our means to test the switches, but we'll have both our ABS and PBT set in our aluminum and carbon fiber plate test. So, what do you think? Let me know your thoughts about the switches, or if you already have them, 
leave your insights in the comment section below. I was quite hesitant that the springs are not as going to be responsive as I originally thought they would be. Spring ping is somehow audible from my end, so I think lubing them with oil should help to remedy the situation with the pinks. Furthermore, this is beyond my expectations as to how the overall typing feel goes with the spring. This may be my bias towards the dual stage springs, but the pairing of a shorter travel and a responsive spring is where the switches really shine. I mean, aside from the LED diffuser. Alright, for the LED diffuser, honestly, this is really great. I love how it turns out as they give the LEDs a more uniform look. Not exactly sure as to why there's a textured pattern over the top side of the diffusers but I am assuming for one that this can act as a grip for holding the north and south sides of the switch. So where do we go from here? If you're to the bells and whistles of the RGB diffusion, well, go for it. It should not be necessarily the deal breaker as this offers more for the typing feel beyond the lighting situation. To add. As the switch can go between deep clacks and quiet sound profile, you really need to keep in mind on how this blend of pump housing and UPE stem would perform with the choice of your keyboard and their mounting system. Lubing the spring should help you to remedy the spring ping. The factory lube job is nothing too fancy as it is almost light coated with not so even consistency, so it's up to you whether you'd go for that route or re-lubing them just to make sure of the consistency it will hold. For Philippines, Morandis are available right now in Shopee on the Longwind store, so they're currently priced at 870 pesos, which is close about to 25 peso per switch. For international viewers, you can get them on Wuchi Studios website or find your local vendors accordingly. Once again, huge thanks to Wuchi Studio for sending this one out. I'll have another one to try on the Wuchi Yellows. Anyway guys, that's pretty much for this video. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.